Andrew Clennell back with me with his crystal ball. And Sunday and next week, we'll be looking at all the numbers after they've come in on The Voice. Yes, an extraordinary situation we could face. I alluded to it earlier in the program and Susan Lee, Deputy Liberal Leader, confirming it to you then, Kieran, which is basically you'll end up having Anthony Albanese abandoning The Voice and the opposition supporting local and regional voices in a second referendum. So what a turnabout that'll be, because I'm assuming or I'm predicting the Indigenous voice to Parliament will fail at this Saturday's referendum. I expect the Yes campaign to get a vote in the low 40s. Yes may win in Tasmania and or Victoria, might narrowly fail in New South Wales and South Australia, but there will be landslide results against it in WA and Queensland. What will this mean for Anthony Albanese's Prime Ministership? Well, in the short term, I'm not convinced it'll mean that much. Apparently, the research shows respect for him for having conviction to push it through. But I guess it is a pump in the road. Well, it clearly is. And that could come back to haunt the PM if there are further troubles down the track. And the other political question is, what are the implications for the, the frontline ministers in this? Well, despite speculation in political circles around the future of Indigenous Affairs Minister Linda Burney, I'm not expecting a reshuffle after next week's referendum. There had been speculation Ms Burney might call it a day from Cabinet post-referendum, but I'm told that's not expected to happen. If there is to be a reshuffle, the plan would be to have it closer to the 2025 election. And you saw there what a replacement Malandiri McCarthy could be for Linda Burney. Another controversy around the ABC to get another airing this week. There's likely to be more debate this week about the behaviour of the ABC and Four Corners crew when it comes to their filming of the controversial climate activist protest at Woodside Chief Executive Meg O'Neill's house when the program goes to air tomorrow night. A promo appears to show a protester in a car talking about what a big day the protest is going to be to the film crew prior to the protest. The ABC has maintained they did not know what was going to happen when they received a tip about the address the protest was going to take place at and rocked up to film. The other thing this week, Kieran, I should mention, and I'm sure it won't be a unanimous report, tomorrow it'll be tabled the Qatar Airways Flights uh, Senate Inquiry Report.